Z is pulling out the new character, Wu Shang. Oh, man. I Oh, I hope he has some uh, tricks up his sleeve here that he's been saving. Oh, he's played a lot of Spear, so there's that. I don't know. I haven't really seen him play much Gauntlets, but I know he plays a lot of Spear, so this isn't completely outside the realm of uh, try-hard ability. And this is the kind of time you want to pull something like uh, pick this out. It's a best of five, lower finals. You have, it's game one. Even if Bugsy loses this, you can still afford to lose another one. You know, if you want to try a pick out, <laughs> this is when you do it. Yeah, and this can also really throw your opponent off. If they're expecting some sort of gun gameplay from you as a standard, and you pull out a Wu Shang, a new character. It can really throw you off your game. And so far, Pugsy has been finding the damage advantage. Pugsy getting uh, very good damage, actually. Already putting Twilight into kill percent. A side air would finish it. He gets a dare instead. But it looks like Twilight will just barely be able to get his way back. Pugsy going to be looking for the KO with Gauntlets. Ooh, that down take almost connecting, but Twilight interrupts it with a... Uh, Side air. And these unsafe down sticks from Pugsy are going to be getting punished for sure. In fact, he almost dies to that ground pound, just barely getting saved by the edge of the stage there. He finally finds a stair to KO. But Twilight put all the damage on that he needs to get the KO as soon as he comes back. That side air actually almost KOing on its own. And that'll be it. Twilight finds the very easy edge guard. Pugsy. Despite that very dominating first stock, uh, gets evened up very quickly. Twilight picks the sword up. And Pugsy's gonna keep trying with these gauntlets. Not finding too much success with it though. This is one of the Pugsy issues with gauntlets. Even though you find the side light, you can just dodge out of the side light to nair. It's not a true combo. And Twilight playing Pugsy off of the stage of the Oh well. There's a great ledge guard for Twilight and a huge lead. You said we saw Pugsy have so much success with that spear on stock one, and now he's been falling behind with it. He lost his lead and fell behind. Wow, massive damage coming out from Twilight with the sword. Not Twilight only in the last stock, but absolute in this one too. Down like Sarah, edge guard chance here. Twilight finds the ground pound, that should be it. Why would wow. do it? He's gonna go up 1 0 over Pugsy. That first stock was rather. Uh, in, it, I mean, it was in Pugsy's favor for most of it, but. I mean, Pugsy picked up the gauntlets, kind of flopped over with them, and. Since then, Twilight just sort of ran away. His sword, just so good. Pugsy is gonna make a switch to Jala now? An interesting pick. It's really not that surprising with he's very good at sword, he's very good at axe. I, I could see this pick working out for him. It's very risky the the low defense, but I absolutely could see this pick working out very well against Twilight. You have a sword mm -hmm. with more strength than Dex, and then you have an axe. I've seen him play a lot of Bren, and of course he's he was a sword man before he started playing a lot of guns, but man, I just I don't know why he's sort of been uh, giving up on the guns recently. He's been finding success with it, even in this tournament, when he does pick it. Maybe he knows that uh, Twilight has a very good matchup versus his guns, and so he's avoiding it. Or something along the line. So far, the game is pretty even. We're seeing Twilight actually have some good success here with the hammer. Pugsy going for the axe off stage, throws Twilight to the other side. Um, yeah, and damage completely equalized now. Recovery from Pugsy sends Twilight flying. Both players are looking for some sort of edge guard situation here. Pugsy going for a fancy little recovery combo there. Pugsy can't find the Sair. Twilight finds his way back onto the stage and is going to be looking for a KO now. But Twilight turns it around. Looks like he just needs a dare, doesn't even need that. Pugsy didn't have the chances to get back. Pugsy will immediately clean that down. We are at 
two fresh stocks. Bugsy's on that sword. Twilight's gonna need to his own weapon now. Bugsy's so far doing a lot of damage with these sword uh, combos. Twilight gets a nice little weapon spawn for him on the side of the stage there. Which should help a little, but he's already fallen a fair amount behind. Bugsy is looking very good this stock. Especially compared to last stock. Oh, huge side side light into side sig. Pugsy kills Twilight very early with that. And takes a full stock lead. Twilight trying to return it as fast as he can with these signature edge guards of his. But Pugsy is maneuvering around them so well. Another edge guard chance here. No dare found. Pugsy actually is the one that's turning this on. Almost gets the kill with the dare, but Twilight turns it back around. Goes for the Sair, but it's just not connecting. Oh no, and that dare disarms Twilight. Now he's unarmed off stage, and Pugsy's gonna be looking for the KO. That might be it, yeah. So he used his, uh, he used his dodge to try and get the Haymaker, but doesn't quite work out, but Pugsy has a full stock to work with here. Twilight's already in kill percent. As long as he doesn't get completely bodied, this is looking like Pugsy's game. Twilight looking for a way in, but he's just not getting anything. Twilight's just getting hammered around by these axe moves. Finally gets a downlight, but isn't able to combo it into anything. There's a downlight combo into side air, into down air. He goes for a really risky ground pound, and he goes too deep. Twilight and kills went himself. all in, bro. It was almost incredible from Twilight. We are one to one after that. What a, what an effort from Twilight there at the end. I mean, if that ground pound would have hit, it would have been the play of a lifetime. I mean, it was it was a desperate attempt to claw back into the game when he was so far behind. If it did connect, I mean, well, it's hard to say if it was worth or not because I mean, he was putting Pugsy into orange at that point. It might have been better yeah, to just try just to play the orange. At that point. I mean, it's a really hard call, especially to make in the moment like that. Twilight went for it and it didn't pay off. But we're into game three now. And both players reset. They're going to stick with their characters, they're going to try Mammoth this time. Twilight trying to get in against this axe, but Pugsy's just spacing so well. Twilight's doing an excellent job of keeping Yeah. Twilight finds a downlight combo. Oh, he misses the third downlight though! Ends up dropping the combo. That is an absolutely massive amount of this damage. And Pugsy finds the ground pound to end the stock. He's in orange, but that is a pretty decent lead for him to have right now. And it seems like Twilight is just struggling so hard to find a way into Pugsy's axe play right now. Pugsy's just spacing out Twilight so hard, like he can't find a single way in. And that down stick almost kills! Pugsy hasn't taken a single hit this stock. Yeah, just that one unarmed side air now. Pugsy is looking for a very clean stock to him. Like, oh, wow. Oh, wow is right, Orange B. That is an incredible bait from Pugsy. Yeah, so he goes down into the stage, under the stage even, baiting Twilight to try and go for the uh, easy edge guard. But instead, he just like dodges up side airs and Twilight's dead. Absolutely beautiful play from Pugsy. And, I mean, this is looking like more and more like Pugsy's game. Twilight's already looking to get three stocks That's gonna be Pugsy going point. down. He has no recovery there. Oh, I, I thought he had Got caught recovery. out with his recovery in the middle of this. Right. Jeez, well, at least he's not getting three stock, but this is such a hopeless game for Twilight at this point. He needs to just... He needs to turn into God for a second if he wants to win this. I mean, yeah, that one ground pound will Pugsy it. with... Very close to a JV3. Uh, that's Pugsy is up two to one now in this best of five.
Twilight at this point, I mean, what do you do differently? Uh, you pick your Bodvar again and you go to the exact same stage. That's what you do. Yeah, that's... It's something that I... I think Twilight could work on instead of going, okay, I need to find... I'm sorry, instead of saying, I need to find a different answer to this, it is more prone to just say, okay, let me prove that I'm I'm better by doing the exact same thing but trying to win harder this uh, I think he can be a little bit a one-track mind in that regard. But, I mean, hey, he did just 100 to death, so... Yeah, so, there you go. What do I, what do I know? I mean... <laughs> Apparently, Twilight just needed to pick the exact same characters in stage to win, so... <laughs> you like never he know. He is returning a lot of the damage very quickly, though. Despite that absolutely dominating first stock, it's actually just even again. Evened up? <laughs> Already. Pugsy doing the exact same thing that Twilight just did to him. And now we're back to square one, only this time both players have two stocks. Twilight off stage with the hammer. Trying to find a throw combo, but it doesn't connect. Pugsy. He's just gonna continue to weapon guard. He doesn't want to let Twilight get the sword. But this is his chance. Twilight gets the sword. He's a little behind in damage, but I would say Twilight has the slight advantage in the sword versus sword matchup. But I mean Pugsy seems very confident just squaring away against him. I mean, I do think Jala's sword is a little bit stronger than Twilight's, just simply having more stats in offense. Oh, that'll be it. Twilight using all of his options, trying to get back on stage, but Pugsy, with just so much patience, waits for the side air. Pugsy has the sword still, and Twilight's stuck with this hammer. I think he actually wants to keep it. He's going to go for an early KO with it. But Pugs is just continuing to rack damage up. Side air is not enough to kill yet. Dare, Nair, Twilight. Nice little sword Twilight combination. Bring the game right back. Good stuff. Twilight has his sword now, and this is a good chance for him. He doesn't find the gimp, but the damage is very close now. With Jala's incredibly low defense, Twilight can find all that damage right away, and that's all it took. One little string. This Pugsy at the red. Oh, the dodge comes out, but so does the uppercut. Twilight not able to get the kill. This should be it. That's it. Pugsy going down, and we're going to game five. Wow. Very close game. We're heading right into game five. There is so much on the line for this game, too. Where are they going to? Uh, looks like they're going to go to Blackguard. Staying with the same characters. The loser of this is stuck with third place and doesn't get their chance against LDZ. Both of these guys wanting that rematch on LDZ. Although, no matter what, uh, no matter what for LDZ, he's getting to play someone in the Grand Finals that he already beat today. Yeah. And that has to feel good for him, but these two players are not gonna just flop over for all these E. Alright. So far, it was just been pure axe versus hammer gameplay. Both players trading back lots of hits. Twilight, gonna go for the sword edge guard, but Pugsy finds his way back. Downlight Sare. Not quite enough to finish, but Twilight with that really good dare read, that will end it. Now Pugsy needs to find his own KO. Twilight is continuing with this sword damage though. He's so good at racking up the damage with this uh, various sword combos, and he uses so many different varieties of them. Nair to recovery, all the different downlight combos he does, the dare into various moves. Twilight has just been playing this weapon for so long, and he's so good with it. Pugsy though, just playing that really like good spacing axe gameplay, making it very hard to 
and build the damage, but at the same time, he's not really finding KO moves. He's finding like these downlines. Despite Twilight having an absolutely ridiculous amount of damage, he just now finds the KO after almost two minutes. And that is absolutely disastrous. Uh, for Pugsy, he's playing that three defense and he needs to find those kills quickly. And as we're into game five, he's got a lot of pressure on him now to make a huge play happen, and he needs to do it immediately. While they're trying to get the KO here, Pugsy maneuvering around the KO option very well. Finds a downline combo. But he eats one there, not quite enough to finish him off. Another one would do it. And that'll probably, yeah. Pugsy loses his second stock. Twilight has Twilight. not taken as much damage. Twilight in such a good position to put himself back into the finals, to go up to the grand finals and have a sec shot at L. Both players very patiently looking for their opening right now. Pugsy whiffing that side air, allowing Twilight to get in. But huge axe combos coming out right now. Twilight getting put into the kill percent, but Pugsy's not able to find that kill. Side air connects, but not in the right place for it to kill. Twilight gets a hammer and finds some damage before he dies. Still, a fairly close game. This can go either way, for sure. Pugsy has a bit of a deficit that he has to build up, but I mean, he's already putting the work in. Oh no, Twilight dropping that downlight combo, that could be massive, but he gets the dare. Not letting Pugsy go really? for the upper This is box. anyone's game to win right now, but Twilight has the situation. Not gonna quite get the ledge. Pugsy juggling him around. Twilight looking to finish this off. Pugsy using all of his jumps, getting caught out by that side air. Here comes the recovery from Pugsy, and it's That'll punished it. by Twilight. That's the lower finals.